In today's video, we will explore latest features of Excel step by step with real examples. These features are smart and powerful and will make your work faster and easier. Let's start with our very first example. Whenever we have to highlight our active cells, we use VBA codes or we use conditional formatting. But now onwards, none of these are required. Excel has added a new feature which is really mind blowing. This is my data. Now I'll be going to View tab. In View tab, we get one option of Focus Cell. I'll click on Focus Cell and my active column as well as row got highlighted. If I'll click over here, highlights got changed. If I'll click over here on serial number, my highlights are getting changed. If I'll click outside my data, my cells are getting highlighted. To remove the highlight, go to View tab and click on Focus Cell once again and highlight will be removed. Now if I'll click anywhere inside my data, my cells are not getting highlighted. So where we got this feature? In View tab in the center, Focus Cell. If I'll click on drop down, we get the option to change the color. Let's change the color. And our desired color is just in front of us. Let's move to next example. Whenever we create any format and we change cell colors, many times we are not able to see the font colors. And this is because of contrast. The easy way to change the cell color, click on the cell, go to home tab, come in the center. From here, we can change cell color. I'll click on drop down. Over here, we can see the option of high contrast only. I'll click over here. Now I can select any color of my choice and my fonts will be properly visible. Let's select all the headers. Let's come to left. Let's click on drop down and let's select any color. Now our fonts are properly visible. You can select any color of your choice. To go back to normal view, just untick this. Now all the colors are in front of you. Let's see our next example. Chat GPT in Excel. This tool is really very powerful. To use this tool, we will not be going to chat GPT. We will insert chat GPT inside our Excel sheet. For that, I'll be going to home tab. We'll come to right hand side. Over here, we get the option of add-ins. I have already added chat GPT in my Excel. We can see the logo or icon on the right hand side. How to add this? Go to home tab, come to right hand side. In right hand side, you'll be getting the option of add-ins. Click on add-ins, go to more add-ins. Over here, all the add-ins are visible. Go on top and look for chat GPT. Click on search and over here, we can see chat GPT for Excel. Just click on add and it will be added in your home tab. I have already added, so I'll close this. Now let's see how this is going to work. On the top, I have got a question and the question is, what Excel formula should I use to sum a list of values only if they are greater than 50. I'll click over here and we'll type my function or formula of chat GPT plus or equal to AI. Over here, we got lots of options. I'll select the first option that is AI ask. Now, what we have to ask? Over here, we can see prompt means we have to provide the prompt or our question. On the top, I have got my question. I'll click over here. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. It may take some time. My answer got generated. Over here, my range was greater than 50. In case you want to change the number, just click on top and do it 10. Earlier, our formula was for above 50. What will happen if I'll hit enter? My formula got updated automatically. If I'll do this 75, enter, it will take some time, but formula will be updated. Just notice, we can see above 75 over here. Perfect. Let's come down. Over here, I have got sentence and in every sentence, I have got a city name and on the right hand side, I just want city names and not the whole sentence. Let's use our chat GPT plus or equal to AI dot. This time we have to extract the name means we have to extract the city name. So we will select AI dot extract value from where we have to extract the data from here. We are not going to drag our formula. So we will select all the sentences from top to bottom, comma, extract. What we have to extract? We have to extract city. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And I got all the city names. What will happen if I change sentence from here? 
instead of new york city if i'll put mumbai over here enter just notice my output got changed perfect let's come down over here i have got a question i want list of 10 famous tech companies with headquarters location their revenue and number of employees let's see how we can get this data let's use ai or chat gpt plus or equal to ai this time i'll be using table ai dot table bracket open prompt this is my prompt now i'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and i got the whole data we will have to manage the column sizes we will have to change some formatting also and our data is just in front of us within seconds in fact we have got headers also like company headquarter location revenue in billions number of employees if i change the question from top all the things will change automatically let's change the question so i've changed my question which company has revenue greater than dollar 200 billion now i'll hit enter and i got the desired result over here company name revenue in billions and industry like walmart amazon state grid and many more companies are over here perfect over here we have got one more interesting thing let's go to chat gpt add in it looks something like this if i'll click over here this is ai newbie from here we can analyze our data what ai functions are available we can check from here and we can also check how to use ai extract means how to use the features we can check from here let's close this and let's move to next example over here i have got my to do list from monday to friday to check the status either we type yes or no or we type pending or something like that but the easiest thing what excel has provided us are check boxes i'll select from top to bottom we'll go to insert tab inside the insert tab we get the option of check box i'll click on check box and my check box is got inserted if i'll click on check box we can see tick if we notice in formula bar we can see true means whenever it will be tick we will be able to see true and whenever it will be untick we will be able to see false so now we can insert check boxes in all our to do list let's come to monday one very interesting thing over here let me tick this now i'll select all my task will go to home tab will come to right hand side and will click on conditional formatting will come down and will select new rule from here i'll select classic in case you are using windows you'll not be getting the option of classic you will be diverted to next step and that is use a formula to determine which cells to format i'll put my formula over here plus or equal to i'll click on status means my first check box by default our cell got logged means dollars got inserted in the beginning and in mid my target over here is to highlight the row so i'll be removing dollar from the center is equal to true whenever we take text inside excel formulas it's mandatory to take text inside double inverted commas but in this case we are not going to use double inverted commas i'll come down and we'll click over here we'll go to customize format on top we can see four things number font border and fill we will go to font when we come down over here we can see the option of strike through i'll click on strike through it got checked now i'll go on top over here we can see color automatic i'll click on drop down and we'll select green color we'll come down and we'll click on okay okay just notice when it's checked we can see strike through if i'll uncheck this strike through got vanished if i'll click over here we can see the strike through in case you want to apply your strike through in these also you'll have to follow the same process what we followed over here in case you want to remove your check boxes select from top to bottom press delete all the checked items will be unchecked now if you want to remove these boxes just press delete once again and all the check boxes will be removed let me undo this control z or command z let's come down over here we want to insert comments based on check boxes so first process let's insert check boxes i have selected from top to bottom we'll go to insert tab will come in the center and will click on check box let's check this now let's go to 
comments. For comments, I'll be using the criteria or function of if plus or equal to if bracket open will click on my first checkbox is equal to true t r u e true i have not taken true in double inverted commas comma if this is true and when it will be true when we will check this so when it will be true in return what we want in return i want done done is a text so i'll be taking done in double inverted commas double inverted commas done double inverted comma close comma if it's not true what i want in return i want blank so i'll be inserting double inverted comma for blank bracket close and i'll hit enter we are not able to see anything let's drag this down and over here we can see done if i'll click over here we got done if i'll uncheck this it's not done if i'll uncheck this also it's not done in case you want to use strike through it can be done very easily select all the data go to home tab conditional formatting new rule from here i'll select classic as i told earlier window users will not be getting the option of classic they will be diverted to next step and that is use a formula to determine which has to format formula will be plus or equal to i'll click on first checkbox i'll remove dollar from center because we have to highlight the whole row is equal to true we'll click on drop down customize format we'll go to font strike through i'll check this we'll click on drop down this time i'll be selecting red color and we'll do okay okay just notice when it's checked we got the strike through and color got changed if i'll click over here we can see done as well as color got changed and we can see strike through if i'll uncheck this all the things got vanished let's move to next and last example over here i got my data and i have to transfer my data to the next sheet means over here our approach will be very simple over here i'll click just under my header plus or equal to i'll go to my data and we'll select the whole data from top to bottom i'll be selecting few extra cells because in future my data may increase now i'll hit enter and i got the whole data but what to do with these zeros let's go on top our active formula is in the very first cell below that we can see the formula but they are not active so let's go to active formula i'll double click over here over here we can see b4 through c24 i'll click in the center means just before c24 and we'll insert dot now i'll hit enter and all my zeros got vanished if i'll click over here we can see the formula perfect so where i have inserted my dot let's double click over here and it's in the center let's see one more example of dot i'll click over here this time we haven't got our header plus or equal to i'll be going to my data sheet and we select from top we select few extra cells also at the bottom now i'll hit enter on top we can see zeros my header is over here and at the bottom also we can see zeros so how to overcome this challenge i'll click on top where our active formula is sitting i'll double click on the formula will come in the center over here my range is b1 through c24 i'll click just after b1 will insert one dot now i'll click just before c24 and will insert one dot over here also means one dot before colon and one dot after colon now i'll hit enter just notice i got my headers as well as i can't see zeros at the bottom so these were the few advanced features of excel i'll provide the link of file in description box in case you want to download you can